Okay, so um, here's what we have so far. You know, again, we have some design issues, but I kind of showed you some CSS3 stuff to make things transparent and full screen background image. You know, the color scheme is not working, but, you know, we'll fix that later on. You, you don't totally, you don't have to do anything that I do as far as background image and the colors and all of that, you know. I just want to kind of show you how to lay this out and stylize using CSS. So, um, so now here's really the one of the toughest organizational things for the class. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, connect this first link. Um, one of the first things we're going to do is a basic page. Um, in the basic page, I grabbed somebody from uh, from this semester, this past semester, has a an, a large heading at the top. It says my first web page. It has an uh, an HR tag, a horizontal rule line right here. And then it has a paragraph of text, Latin text, and then with a background color and then a border uh, placed in the middle of the page with a background color on the whole uh, body itself, the whole page itself. So um, yours is going to look probably better than this, but uh, again, just a, a very simple first page. So how we're going to do this in this class is here, uh, I'm in, let's say, your eAccess Home, and you have a folder called Portfolio, um, okay? And your Portfolio page, all of the basics, the background image uh, that you might use, the web page itself, the .html page uh, is there, the image of yourself is there, and then any kind of font face files. Just that's all you need, all just the basics, whatever is exactly on that page. Uh, will be in that area and then each each assignment we do I'm gonna have you make a folder and you're gonna name it all just lowercase very simple uh, I have one called basic here and inside the basic folder I have a file that's called index now again the reason we call it index is it's indexing um, anything off of it now there's nothing uh, for it to index in this assignment but most of the time uh, just like this um, it has links on it and it will link up um, and it'll basically the link will say okay hey computer I want you to you know make this link link up to this web page in a folder called basic okay and the file inside of basic is called index.html so in our coding let me show you how to do that is Again, I have a folder, and then I have an assignment in it, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a folder um, inside, uh, ins uh, created for each assignment. So, uh, let me go to Text Wrangler here. I'm going to go down to my HTML, the stuff in between the body with the angle brackets here. And here's my first link, okay? Here's the title, the subheading called Class Projects. And right here, and in here's my first link right here. So I'm going to go into the coding, and here it is right here. I'm going to change the name from link one to basic page. How's that? Okay. So it's the text. I'm going to save it, and then uh, reload it, and sure enough, it changes the text that I'm going to click. Okay. So it's changed. Now, uh, we put at the beginning of this, we put a number sign uh, just to make the clickable part work. That your mouse trans in, turns into a hand, that it clicks but doesn't go anywhere. Uh, in between this qu the quotation marks here, that's where we're going to tell the computer where this file is. So every time I click basic page, it's going to load a web page. And we're going to give that address of the web page uh, in between the quotation marks. And the web page, as I said, is in a folder called Basic. And the name of the web page inside of the folder Basic is called index.html. So we're going to tell that in the coding. Come on, coding. There we go. OK. So uh, I'm going to tell it, hey, computer, when I click the words Basic page, uh, I want you to look for a folder called Basic which is there, same location as, as this web page. And then I'm going to put a slash. And I'm going to say, go inside the folder you see called basic and look for a file called index.html. 
Okay, so that's what we've just done. Now when we click the words basic page, it's going to look for a folder called basic and then go inside that folder and look for a, a file name called index.html, which is a web page. The .html proves it. I'm going to save that and again, update my page. And you'll see when I click basic, it opens up. Now I'm going to go use the back button, but that's all there is to it. And again, all I did all I did was I have a folder for each assignment. I made a folder called basic where my basic first page is. I gave the name of the basic first page index. I tell the computer when I click the base the words basic page, look for a folder where, where this web page is. Look for a folder called basic. And then load inside that, that folder should be a uh, uh, an HTML page, a web page called index.html. Go ahead and load that in the browser. And that's what's happening. Okay? So that's what we're going to do from now on for each assignment. We'll have a folder. We'll place all of our, Im uh, all of our images, all of our um, fonts, font files, and our web page. And we'll name the web page in that folder index.html. Thanks.